Wow. You guys, I have not done anything to my hair. My hair has stayed in a little bun with satin scrunchies. Basically, since I got my hair cut, which was on Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, two days pretty much. So I'm about to get ready to take my shower, but I wanted to show you guys kind of like my night and morning hair routine and let you guys know what it is that I do to kind of preserve my curls because I keep it in a bun. It always has some type of movement. I was just outside and it's just been so humid. So I haven't been wanting to take it out and wear it like this because it just gets so fluffy. I haven't really put anything product wise in my hair. You guys know I took you in my last video to go get some hair products. I don't typically have to use dry shampoo unless I work out or it's like four or five days into me styling my hair that it starts to kind of get a little bit more greasy towards the roots and then it weighs down my hair and it looks very flat but i'm finding that right now i have a nice fluffy feel still and it actually has quite a bit of volume probably due to the humidity but i have some like breakage like in the front it's either that or no it's probably breakage <laughs> From all the slick backs that I've been doing but I've tried my best to stop doing all the slick backs but I do want to add some moisture so I'm gonna go in with my Olaplex I'll link all of these things in the description for you guys just to kind of help moisturize my hair I'm going to just do a middle part well, off-center part so we're gonna go back in with this thing which you guys saw in my last hair vlog this time I'll just show you quickly how I actually do it I use a claw clip oops just to secure it in place while I wrap the hair around and this takes away a lot of the fluffiness but also gives me a really curly look which is what you guys saw before I went to get my hair cut with you guys. So it's kind of easy to do. I just start with like a two inch section and you really have to just take your time and smooth the hair as you wrap it around and just grab more hair. And the smaller sections you do, basically the tighter your curl is gonna be. And this just gives you such good juicy curls they never come out like flat so that's why I really like this method plus it's heatless and when I sleep I don't feel it because it's soft and this is why you need the claw clip because this side wants to come off so I just grab a bigger chunk down here try to use a brush to make sure the hair doesn't get all over smooth my hair down and then just wrap it all the way around the remaining bits so that's pretty much all I do and then the longer you leave your hair and the tighter you kind of pull it against the satin thingy <laughs> is going to determine how tight your curls are going to be and how long they really last. So I'm just going to stick here. It comes with these little scrunchies, which is great. doesn't cause damage. I do like this method a lot. And if you want to have a style instantly in the morning, honestly, this is what I would do. I don't even wrap my hair anymore. I used to wrap my hair every night religiously with this scarf, the same scarf. And that was when I was relaxed. But I find that when I wrap my hair... It makes it more flat and just really greasy because all the hair is just being wrapped around our scalp which is where a lot of the oils and stuff are and it doesn't give me really a curl and more so gives me like a bend on the ends so I just like this method a lot better with the look that I enjoy on myself but everyone is different totally wrap your hair if that's what you're used to 
I either do this or whatever you guys saw when I intro the video, I will sleep with my hair in a low bun, which is what I've been doing these past two nights. I definitely wanted to take you through like a days in my hair routine because I do my hair differently depending on what it is that I'm doing. Like my bedtime routine is different than my morning routine and my morning routine is different than my post gym routine. Like after I get home from the gym tomorrow, I'm going to pop back in and give you guys my hair routine on how I refresh my hair and also what I do before the gym. I should definitely do that as well to make sure that I don't really ruin my blowout and I tend to have my hair like this for three weeks so I think it'll be interesting to show you guys how I preserve my hair to last that long without having to feel like I have to change my lifestyle because that's the whole reason why I went natural to begin with is because I enjoyed working out and I really prioritized my fitness journey over the way that my hair looked when it was relaxed and I like having my curls because it's very low maintenance and I could still work out and not have to feel like my hair is the priority in my life which I don't think it should ever be for me personally so Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I got one person that requested this vlog and I'm glad that I'm able to do that. So I'm just going to kind of bend these up just so whenever I sleep it doesn't hang around and get uncomfortable. I use one of these scarves just to kind of tie down the front to keep the hair smooth. You don't have to do this but I just feel like it helps keep everything nice and neat in the morning. And with this and my bonnet they do not come off and I'm a side sleeper I toss and I turn a lot so this is very secure for me and then finally we take our bonnet I freaking love this bonnet one of you guys said it was super cute it really is my favorite bonnet it has a soft band and then it also has ties so you can really tie as tight or as loose as you want and this is wide enough where it doesn't slip so that's why I really like this bonnet. It's also really comfortable. It has some stretch to it and it's large. So whenever I have like my curls and my fro, it fits in here without me having to like really shove it and then it get really flat. So, and it fits this bulky thing. So I'm going to just put this on and tuck all of this in as neat as possible and then tie this. And also another note, if you want your hair to last, stop taking hot steamy showers. You really have to be mindful of that. I never wash my face in the shower when my hair is straight. So I always do my face routine in the bathroom sink. I just ordered a fresh box of my Clean Skin Club towels because this is what I use specifically for when my hair is like blown out so I can do my skincare routine at the sink and really remove all the makeup along like my hairline. I have not been wearing makeup for the past few days because I've been in the crib, but whenever I do, this comes in clutch to really ensure that you're not going to mess up your edges and make them revert. So I'll definitely link these below. They are on my Amazon page underneath like the beauty category. They're not too expensive. I think this has 50 and it's 100% USDA bio-based. Girl, I don't know. It's basically like a luxury expensive paper towel, okay? And it doesn't tear up my skin.
good morning good morning it's obviously the next day i'm getting ready for the day i have an appointment to go to later and it is supposed to rain for the next three days which means it's super humid out currently i think it's like 90 percent i really am not happy that i decided to pick this week to do my hair so i'm gonna try to make my hair last and not frizz out so some of my favorite products um, you guys saw I added some Olaplex just to help with the frizz. I haven't brushed my hair out just yet. Um, I do want to add some dry shampoo just because I've had my hair done since Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days. And I can just feel like my roots just aren't as volumized. So I thought this would be the perfect day to test out my new dry shampoo, which I'll link all these products down below. And they smelled so good in Sephora. I'm hoping it's not going to have like a weird um oh my god this smells so much better than the way it just refreshes my hair like perfectly and i'll read the description in case you guys are looking for ways to just make your hair last longer so it says super super absorbent formula eliminates oils and impurities leaving your hair looking and feeling clean and refreshed with extra volume and a matte finish so shake extremely well did i shake this I hope I did. <laughs> Spray into the roots four to six inches away from the scalp and allow it to dry and then gently rub or brush through. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I feel like I already got some volume and I haven't even brushed Gosh, my hair. It smells super good. This is just in the original scent and they do different um, fragrances. So now that that's done, I'm going to brush through my hair a little bit just to detangle it and loosen up some of the curl. I always start at the bottom and I'm just using like a paddle brush. Okay, nice. See, brushed out, not brushed out. And I'm going to show you guys my secret weapon if you also live in humid climates and you're looking to make your style just last longer. A little goes a long way. Okay, don't say it and tell you. It's the It's a 10 Miracle Shine Spray. I would say this is like a dry oil. It adds a nice shine to your overall look. It probably will take away some of the extra frizz and fluffiness to my hair but some of the things that this does which it literally does everything that i need and i love products that just tick all the boxes so it says it's weightless shine helps to soften coarse hair improves elasticity i can never say that word proper <laughs> antioxidant environmental protection anti-humidity which is what i need and minimizes the frizz it's also a thermal heat protectant it also helps to seal and protect your hair locks in the moisture and helps with manageability so I like to spray from a decent distance away that might have even been too much but really this is what I need for the days like today when it's like just really humid just to help keep my hair from poofing out and I think I lost the top to that I don't really know where it is but yeah then I'll just like kind of brush it through make sure my hair is all coated if you do too much, it can definitely weigh your hair down, but my hair actually eats up moisture so quickly, so it might feel like it has too much product, but by the end of the day, it basically drinks it all up. Sorry, Leroy is in the bathroom snoring. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically how I prep my hair for the day. I am going to be going to the gym, so I just use a claw clip to clip my hair up and one of these elastics just so my hair doesn't slip out of the claw clip. I don't want to have to touch my hair at all in the gym because it's just grime and grit and sweat and gyms are nasty and I don't want those germs in my hair. So I'll just show you how I do my claw clip. Nothing crazy. And I do keep a little brush in my gym bag just so I can touch up my hair. But the most important thing, when I finish my workout, I do not touch my hair until I get home. Because if you do sweat a lot in your scalp, it's just best to let your hair dry before you start taking it out and touching all up on it. So I don't touch my hair until it's time to like get ready for bed. So I just put my hair in a 
ponytail, like a loose one. Then I'll twist it up, twist it down. I mean, it just depends on what way I want my hair to be. I can either do it like this. It doesn't really matter. I just have to get it off of my neck. Because when I do cardio, I don't want my ponytail to be like swinging around. But um, I also like when I twist it around like a little bun. And then clip it off. I think that's also really cute too. Hopefully you guys can see. The style, that's probably how I'm going to wear it today. But yeah, don't get your hair on your neck. Try to get it up. And if you can, these like satin scrunchies are really good too because it's not going to tug on your hair or pull your hair out and they don't get stuck in your hair. But those are too bulky for me with my claw clips. So I just use one of these and I wrapped it around twice. I'm back. It's like the end of the day pretty much. I thought it was cute. Because I was filming content today and I did my hair like this in the gym for cardio. It was a quick 30 minute workout but still there's no like AC in my gym so I see a lot of like frizz and I have not brushed my hair. So I'm actually going to try to touch up my roots because they got like kind of reverted semi with the Dyson comb attachment. I kind of just want to test this out in all different scenarios to see if it's really worth it and what it can do. Does it do the things that I needed to do? That's what I need to see. So I'm just gonna get my hair basically ready for bed and do my nighttime routine so I can take a shower, you guys. But it's really just frizz and I feel as though I could brush this out because it's quite tangled as you can see. Don't be like me, I should have worn my hair in a claw clip the way that I showed you earlier today. But like this could be a little bit smoother. And I would love to see how the Dyson does on dry hair. <laughs> My hair is stuck. Instead of it being like damp, like does it still effectively style the hair? Because so far I'm really liking the Dyson. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm keeping it. I threw the packaging away. I'm already convinced because I do love the way that my hair turned out. But yeah, we see this frizz. Oh, because nah. Mm -mm. So we're going to see what this is going to do. This is definitely my favorite attachment. So I have high hopes. Have I been putting it on backwards this whole time? Because the way that I haven't had it sit this flush, I've been putting it on backwards. Which is probably why I keep turning it off. Because the buttons are now on the outside. The more you know. Wow, I've really been using this backwards this whole time. Y'all, that took away a lot of the fluff. Now my hair doesn't really have much curl to it. It's pretty much straight. But I'm going to wrap it and get curls in it in the morning anyway. Whoa! <laughs> Talk about the ultimate refreshing tool. Because y'all already know, when you start sweating, you start to smell your hair reverting, the roots are gone. But that got my hair really smooth, especially around the edges in like two seconds. So poofy, sleek. I see a noticeable difference and this is just brushed out. So it's not like, oh, it's tangled. And it's a blow dryer. Like these are results I'd probably get with a flat iron. So yeah, it's a yes for me.
Wow, I think I've just fallen in love. <laughs> This is about to be my bestie. I have that on high heat and honestly it gets so hot. I don't think it's necessary to have it on high heat. I'm going to add a little extra dry shampoo. And this had my hair smelling so good all day in the gym when my hair was just like moving uh, slightly. I kept smelling it. It smells amazing. So I'm just going to add a little extra to my roots. It has like a vanilla scent. Yes, vanilla. So that's all I'm going to do with my hair for right now as far as touching it up post-gym. No straightener necessary. So that's just with the Dyson and I'm going to go ahead and do this. I've done this so many times. Y'all don't need to see me do it again. I'm going to wrap it up, put my shower cap on and get my butt in the shower. And I'll take my hair down tomorrow because I have somewhere else to go but no frizziness my hair just feels so much better after getting it cut with you guys so feeling pretty good about that so i'm gonna smooth my edges down and call it a night it's supposed to rain tomorrow do i want curls maybe i shouldn't do that because that means it's going to be a little extra humid. Maybe I'll just do my little bun and it'll give me like a loose wave. Because if I have a bunch of curls with more volume, baby, it's not going to be good for me. So I'm going to use those same scrunchies and gather my hair. I use two different hair ties. I just twist my hair. That's what helps create those heatless body waves. And then I secure it with the other little hair tie. Just wrap it around twice. I'm back. Guys, it's been days. I have not touched my hair probably for three days. It's been wrapped up in a bun. It's just been, like I said, way too humid. And I honestly see zero point in me wearing my hair out for it to just poof out and become super matted and tangled up. So today I'm going to be working from home. So I needed to kind of do my makeup, do my hair. And I think I'm going to wear it out today because I was just outside with the dogs and it doesn't seem humid, maybe slightly breezy, but no humidity in sight. So I definitely need to refresh my hair. It's actually day eight. I definitely need some volume in the roots because like I said, I've been wearing it tied down for three days. But because it's been in a bun, I have a nice little wave going on to it. So I just want to detangle it and then refresh my roots feels a little bit greasy the last time i checked in with you guys i had gone to the gym so my hair got a little bit reverted i can see a little bit of reverting here so i'm probably gonna wear a headband today just to kind of conceal that because i don't want to be blow drying my hair every day to refresh it i still want to remain very much so heatless for the majority of my hair journey and really i shouldn't be putting heat on my hair after I already straighten it the first time. So this is what we're working with. Been switching over to this gel or edge control because it's more lightweight and not so hard. Not even that the other one was hard, it's just an extreme one. This isn't like an extreme hold, but it's really good for my straight hair. looks good this is probably going to be the last update for you guys because it's been a week when i use it in the gym with my curls it's not heavy enough but for this hairstyle this is good and you already know we have different routines with straight hair versus the curls so this one's definitely going to be my new go-to definitely have some volume in my hair that's for sure I think it's giving a headband. Maybe. I have this Gymshark one. Of course I'm gonna use it. <laughs> We're in Gymshark today. Code Lachey. 
We'll get you guys money off. This one's actually for the gym. It's supposed to be sweat resistant. But I just got this in and I've been wanting to try it out. Oh, she is cute. She's for the girls. She's wide. I love this. Mm-hmm. Is it giving headband wink? <laughs> I don't know, but this is going to be like my go-to when my hair gets super gross. <laughs> and I got to conceal the edges. I'm loving this headband. I've been looking for one that's wide. This one is actually made for natural hair. At least that's how it was advertised for protective styles and sweating in the gym. So I definitely need to test it out with my workouts, but I thought it'd be cute since I just got it in. So that's gonna be it, a week of my hair journey. This is what my hair looks like eight days later. And I hope you guys enjoyed a week in my hair journey. Thumbs up if you guys enjoy hair videos like this. Subscribe for more beauty and fashion content. And I will see you girls in my next video. Bye.